Hello, uh, Ron back here again with another uh, drone video here on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We cover all sorts of drone and drone gear and today we're back at the beach today and we're back here with the, uh, the Mavic 3, not the new Mavic 3 Enterprise. This is the old school Mavic 3, I guess it would say standard or zoom at this point. This is one with the zoom lens. Uh, the Classic got a whole bunch of um, firmware update. I mean, the Classic had got a lot of nice new features just with its release yesterday on uh, November uh, 2nd, I believe. Today is the, uh, let me check my watch here. Never know the date. Today's the third. Yesterday was the second. That's the day the Classic came out. And um, we already have a, a one video up here where we uh, flew with the firmware update. And when the, the Classic 3 came out with all its features, DJI released a firmware update for the Mavic 3, the RC, uh, the RC Pro and the DJRC controller that make everything compatible so it flies just like the new Classic with all the new features. And I've already got a video up here, I will link it uh, down below where you can go watch the video that I did yesterday. But the one thing I did not do was show you um, the new feature called uh, Cruise Control, which allows the drone, uh, you, the, allows you to assign a, assign a function button and the drone will keep flying in the same general direction at the same speed as at the point where you set the, uh, you click the function button for it to go into cruise control. So this would be a very useful feature. We're going to do, a, uh, we're run the screen recording already and we're going to do a screen recording showing what's, um, you know, going on in the screen, how you set that function button up. So uh, let's get right into this, folks. Set up the function button for, uh, you know, the cruise control feature. We're going to go to the three dots in the upper uh, right hand corner. And we're going to go over over to the second panel control. We're going to go down until we see um, button customization right under stick mode there. So we're going to click that. And you see a lot of the uh, buttons are um, assigned already. So, um, you know, the C1 and C2 are on the back here. You can see. And um, the Explorer mode is custom 3, which is on the front here. Oh, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh uh, change one of these uh, function buttons from, um, you know, one of these other things here. Um, uh, recenter, uh, recenter, tilt down, uh, or uh, auto. So that C1 was, that's when you recenter the gimbal. C2 was uh, auto exposure lock on and off. And um, uh, C3 is explore mode. I'm just going to do the easiest one. C1 here. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, resign that here. So um, you can see, you know, control. You can see cruise control at the bottom here, and you can do other things. You can uh, uh, do camera things here, and then there's another other here too. But we're going to go down to cruise control here, and you can see now the C1 button is um, assigned to cruise control. So um, let's go back to the, uh, you know, back to the main main screen here and um, let's take it up let's take this thing up in the air here get this up in the air and, and do a test flight and see how uh, using the C1 button which I believe is um, this one right here actually this one right here it says it right in the back C1 uh, it's labeled that top too so we definitely know what, what button we're dealing with here so again let's get this drone up in the air and let's apply this uh, C1 button uh, so we can um, you know, check the uh, cruise control feature out. Now, this the, this feature was sort of here before in in the hyperlapse mode. You were able to um, set uh, not only the direction the drone was flying, but you could also set a speed where it was flying. So this drone had this kind of functionality before. It was just kind of worn a little bit different and uh, a different way of assign, uh, assigning it in the controls. It more of a um, on-screen process rather than function button. So, um, you know, just a little you inside baseball tip here. So, uh, yeah, what, what's, with no further ado, let's get going here. We're going to uh, use the um, automatic takeoff button. We're going to re remove the histogram there. Automatic takeoff here. We have uh, 19 satellites. Um, we're in Class G airspace. There's no temporary flight restrictions. And uh, winds are, you know, relatively calm here for the beach. Uh, there's nobody around, and I'm not going to fly over people. Not going to be an issue, and there's no other air traffic of any kind right now. So uh, let's uh, take. Oh, you know, though I do want to say I was flying this morning, and for a long time we've been complaining that ADSB was not working on the Mavic 3. That was the um, uh, the software that was added with the Air 2S to let you know that there was, if there were other aircrafts in the area. 
And I think it worked when you first got the Mavic 3, but then I, no, a lot of people hadn't seen it work in a long time. I saw it this morning. It was letting me know that an aircraft was around. So maybe this firmware update fixed that as well. So, okay, let's get going here. All right, we got a smooth hover here. Here we are right here. Got the sun setting behind me. I'm kind of in the famous silhouette here you always hear about. Look at that. Look at that Hollywood shot here with that big sun behind me here. Let's see if we can actually uh, fix that up a little bit. That's too much. So we could change the exposures by moving that arrow up and down beside the lock there. All right. There we go. We're in... Uh, Move my uh, screen recording out of the way. We're in uh, actually pro settings here. Let's hit auto settings, see if it looks any better. Eh, not really. All right, that's my Hollywood shot there in silhouette, of course. All right, let's get some altitude going here. Okay. We got that setting sun, but let's turn it the other direction here and get away from that setting sun. Oh, I wasn't recording any of that, darn it. All I have is a screen recording of my silhouette there. All right, so here's here's where it looks good here. Let's get our rule of four thirds there. Get out over, over these dunes a little bit here. Okay, so let's uh, say we're gonna take a cruise down the dunes here. So let's, uh, let's get up to our 100, 100 feet there. You know, like, Good, good round number, right? Well, 98 is good. Okay. And we're doing recording here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, fly in this general direction. And uh, we're going to hit the C1. So. Okay, C1 has been engaged. Crew control enabled. Okay, I've got complete hands off the sticks now. Sorry, I don't have a um, aircraft braking cruise control disabled. So. Oh, there's. Uh, wonder what happened there. It's definitely nothing in the way there, nothing in front of me. So, um, well, that is odd. So, uh, let's see here. What's, uh, maybe there was something in that direction I didn't like. Let's try it in this direction here. So, again, we're going to fly straight ahead and C1, cruise control enabled. It's uh, maintain the speed of 29 miles per hour. It maintain the direction. Okay, it's it's going good this time. So you see that it's a red X button on the left here that disabled. Okay, it's been disabled. Okay, so um, let's uh, look in this direction here. The pier. Maybe we had too much sun or something before. So let's try to fly down there and cruise control. So the same thing here. Let's go straight ahead. Uh, we're 25 miles, 6 miles per hour, cruise control. Oh, my thing was in a way, something about push stick. Okay, let's try it again. Cruise control enabled, okay. It seems to be going fine this time. Yeah, I like this cruise control. Boom. Alright, let's stop it again. Okay, let's try something different here this time. Um, okay, let's uh, fly sideways. Let's get a. We, we you know we lost a little height there. I started out about a hundred and we're down to eighty. So let's go a little bit higher here. Let's go about one hundred and twenty-five. That's good. Okay, so um, let me check my. Uh, I think we're a little dark there. Okay, I like that a little bit better here. Let's go into our pro settings. Um, Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, let's go in. The thing, it looks like an aperture. What's, um, we don't have ND filter on, so you see our, our stuff's crazy there. Um, <laughs> but these settings are crazy. We'll just go with it. We're not going to demo. But let's switch over to sport mode now. You see it says sport mode. And uh, let's see if uh, we can do cruise control in sport mode. But this way, I'm going to go sideways, fly sideways. Cruise control enabled. Okay, it's going sideways and it is working fine in sport mode. So it does work in the other modes. Um, so that is really very cool. 
And I, I know it seems like I'm flying dangerous here sideways, but I'm flying over, actually, kind of over the water now. There's absolutely nothing to hit down here. So, okay, that's working just fine. All right, so cruise, cruise control is a, is a success. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a tool that I'm going to use, uh, a very handy tool. Let's try one more thing here. Let's see if it works in city mode. Uh, it says normal, but I'm in city. There, good. Just a little slow there. Okay, so let's... Um, Let's push forward again. Okay, so it does work in Cine. Of course, Cine, of course, flies a lot slower, which it should. All right, folks. You cruise right down that street there. Slow rolling. And I don't seem to be losing height this time, so that must have been maybe an anomaly before, or maybe the wind pushing it down. So, yep, nice and slow, nice slow cruise, slow cruising. All right, stop it again. And uh, see if we got anything going on with the sunset here. Big, big old sunball, huh? Now let's get back over the ocean again, or back, back to the beach. Let's try one more thing here. Um, Let's bring it home. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the settings here. Um, what I'm talking about here is, I think it's under control. Uh, uh, not button customization. Um, gain Expo tuning. I saw, you know, I, I saw this as somebody else's video, I can't remember, but they were talking about, um, remember we used to have a uh, tripod mode instead of city mode, kind of in some of the older drones, and then they got rid of it. Well, if you go over here the city mode, and you slow everything down as slow as you can, you can kind of bring tripod mode back again. So what else do they have here? So maximum velocity, yaw smoothness. Break sensitivity. Um, I don't know how much else I have to slow down here. Um, a higher, um, for yaw smooth, a higher value indicates a smoother yaw rotation. I'm pushing the stick to the left or right. Well, let's push it way up. Let's do it way up there. Break sense. A higher. Uh, value indicates a shorter braking distance of the aircraft after releasing uh, the range of service. I guess that's fine. And I'm not going to play with the Expo right now. Um, let's just try what I did there. Turning the uh, max horizontal, max ascend, and max descent speed down as much as I could. And uh, bumping up the yaw uh, smoothness a little bit there. So let's try that. Let's take off again. We're going to take off in normal mode here, of course. I'm going to recenter the drone here. Land on the pad a little. It, it didn't land quite in the center. I mean, it, it got on the pad, but not in, in dead center. So, okay, let's take off again. Got plenty of battery life left. 76, you know, the old Mavic 3, she got plenty of battery life. So, all right. So, um, let's take this up a little bit and out over the dune. And let's go ahead and try my experiment. So I'm going to put it into city mode now. And we'll see what kind of movement we get here. Okay, we're in the city with all my stuff turned down. So yeah, I'm moving forward now. Oh yeah, look, it's one mile per hour. And backwards. One mile per hour. Okay, let's go to the... Um, you know, let's go to the left. I'm oh, sorry. Move the drone to the left. Yeah, one, one point something miles per hour. Okay, to the right. I'm standing backwards to the drone, so I don't know which is left, which is right. Put it back in video mode here. Yeah, so, okay, um, let's go upwards. Upward speed is also real slow, like two miles per hour. Let's bring it down. 
it comes down about two miles per hour. So I think we've achieved our um, tripod mode. Okay, let me, uh, y'all, y'all to the left. Oops, I still got the fast y'all. I didn't fix the y'all. Okay, we need to go in and work on the y'all. But otherwise, uh, we got this. And it keeps you on a little bit, you know, it keeps going after you stop, so I got a little delay in the y'all here. Okay, so I think I've kind of got tripod, tripod mode back again here. Um, you know, we'll, we'll experiment more with that. So, okay, what's, um, that's about it for this video. Um, you, we went over cruise control. It works great. It works in all three modes, uh, normal, sport, and uh, city mode. And uh, also, um... We gave you a little kind of uh, a little uh, bonus, uh, you know, coverage here of um, how to get tripod mode back. Uh, that was lost a couple years back when they switched over to city mode. So, um, you know, if you find that useful. Okay, that's about it for this video. Uh, let's see here. You know, I'm doing all this. You know, the drone is my B-roll camera now. Of course, it's moving. I got to get out of the city mode. It's, ne it's never going to get down here. I'm talking. I shouldn't be having the B-roll camera on me. Yeah, there I am with my Hollywood son. So, yeah, um, you know, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me get a, zoom in a little bit there. Now you don't see the sun, no. But uh, I was saying if you... Um, you all you me a little more center focus. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to see a lot more Mavic 3 content and uh, Air, Air 2S and um, Mini 3 Pro and I also do some Altel stuff. I got the Nano Plus so uh, and the big Altel, the Evo 2 Pro. So a uh, lot, lot of camera bird. I don't, I don't do FPV but a lot of camera bird stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, and ring the bell, bell so you'll know when I put a new Mavic 3 video up. Maybe, maybe a Mini 2 Pro video. And uh, don't forget the thanks button where you can, uh, you know, uh, help out your um, you know, your content creator is sending a, a, a couple bucks, you know, for a uh, hot latte this time of year. It's starting to get cold out or, you know, uh, a couple shekels. So help help me buy some new stuff to review on the channel. So, okay, let me get back to the sunset and we will see you the next one, folks.